the long-awaited debut of the BRICS Alliance's new currency circulation system has been announced. With the ability to upend the dominance of established reserve currencies and usher in a new era of economic cooperation and influence, this significant decision has the power to transform the world's financial landscape. Prepare to see a financial revolution, unlike anything you've ever seen. An announcement that would revolutionize the financial industry has been made by the BRICS Alliance. Be prepared for the introduction of their groundbreaking new currency circulation system, which has the potential to undermine the supremacy of established reserve currencies and open the door to a profound shift in the balance of power in the world economy. Join us as we discuss the ramifications, prospects, and potential difficulties that lie ahead on this thrilling trip. One of the main goals of the BRICS Alliance is to strengthen trade and economic cooperation. Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa are the member nations. They are aware of the potential for gains in trade and commercial ties that might benefit both parties. The BRICS Alliance aims to promote trade amongst its member countries. Customs procedures are streamlined logistics infrastructure is improved, and documentation requirements are made simpler. These steps are intended to lower trade expenses, minimize administrative roadblocks, and hasten the transfer of commodities throughout the alliance. Member nations can promote efficiency, competitiveness, and intra-group trade by enhancing trade facilitation. Bilateral and multilateral trade agreements are actively negotiated and implemented by the BRICS nations. These agreements seek to improve market access, lower trade barriers, and greater economic integration. Member nations can ease the flow of products and services, encourage fair competition, and foster trade and investment by removing or lowering tariffs, quotas, and non-tariff barriers. The BRICS Alliance supports tourism, intercultural exchanges, and people-to-people -people interactions in order to further deepen economic cooperation. In order to improve understanding, build tighter ties, and foster a climate that is conducive to economic cooperation, cultural events, academic exchanges, and tourism marketing activities are all undertaken. Member nations can create cultural diplomacy, deepen connections, and promote corporate cooperation through promoting people-to-people -people encounters. To actively promote and facilitate trade and investment possibilities, BRICS member nations establish trade and investment promotion agencies. Let's take a moment to subscribe to our channel before moving on. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel before continuing. These organizations are essential in disseminating information, planning trade missions, organizing business meetings, and offering assistance to organizations looking to investigate trade and investment opportunities inside the Alliance. Member nations can improve economic cooperation and broaden trade and investment possibilities by establishing business ties and facilitating networking opportunities. To capitalize on one another's advantages and complementarities, the BRICS nations place a strong emphasis on sectoral collaboration. They name major industries for cooperation, including industry, agriculture, energy, technology, and services. To encourage collaboration and boost competition in various industries, joint projects, investment initiatives, and technology transfer programs are launched. Member nations may maximize their combined strengths and promote economic progress by combining resources, exchanging knowledge, and fostering joint ventures. The BRICS Alliance's key goals are to increase financial independence and sovereignty. The BRICS nations have formed currency swap agreements among themselves to strengthen it. Bypassing the need for a third currency as a middleman, these agreements allow member nations to carry out bilateral trade and investment transactions in their own currencies. Member nations can increase their financial independence and sovereignty by reducing their reliance on foreign currencies and the fees associated with transactions. The ability of member nations to exercise control over their monetary policies is one of the essential components of financial independence and sovereignty. The BRICS nations may exercise more independence in determining interest rates, controlling exchange rate fluctuations, and putting policies in place to fight inflation or promote economic growth by lowering their reliance on foreign currencies like the US dollar and the euro. They can adjust their monetary policies to fit their unique economic circumstances and national priorities thanks to their independence. The BRICS nations seek to lessen their sensitivity to outside shocks by broadening their financial ties and decreasing their reliance on a single dominant currency.
Countries that rely substantially on foreign currencies may be significantly impacted by economic crises in one region or changes in global monetary policies. The BRICS nations may lessen their vulnerability to such shocks and increase their resilience to changes in the world economy by fostering greater financial independence and sovereignty. The BRICS alliance has made tremendous progress in creating regional financial institutions that offer alternative sources of funding and lessen reliance on organizations with Western leadership. For instance, the creation of the new development bank and the contingent reserve arrangement intends to offer a pool of emergency cash to member nations experiencing balance of payments challenges as well as financial help for infrastructure development projects. These organizations give member nations more funding options, lowering their dependency on outside funding sources and boosting their financial independence. The BRICS Alliance is dedicated to helping its member nations achieve greater financial independence and sovereignty. The Alliance seeks to lessen reliance on foreign currencies and institutions by pursuing policies such as monetary policy autonomy, currency swap agreements, the development of regional financial institutions, lowering exposure to external shocks, bolstering domestic financial systems, and encouraging the use of local currencies. Additionally, the BRICS nations have established themselves as significant contributors to global economic growth due to their strong economic growth rates and big populations. Their economies have advanced thanks to the growth of their middle classes, consumer markets, and infrastructure investments. As a result, the BRICS nation's economic weight has grown dramatically, indicating a change in the balance of power away from the conventional Western economies. It has fought for reforms that take into account the changing nature of the global economic landscape and has sought more presence and influence in international financial organizations. For instance, they have demanded that emerging economies be given more voting and decision-making authority inside organizations like the IMF and the World Bank. These initiatives are made to make sure that the BRICS nations and other rising economies have their interests and viewpoints properly represented in global financial governance. With their expanding economic clout, the BRICS nations have begun to have an impact on the world financial markets. The depth and diversity of these markets are aided by their sizable foreign exchange reserves, sovereign wealth funds, and growing participation in international capital markets. The dominance of established financial centers is being challenged by this growing presence, which also strengthens the power of the BRICS nations to shape global financial trends and regulations. Additionally, it has made great strides to support the globalization of their currencies. They want to lessen the influence of traditional reserve currencies, like the US dollar and the euro, by expanding the usage and acceptability of their currencies in international commerce, investment, and financial activities. This change puts the current currency hierarchy to the test and helps create a more multipolar and diverse global monetary system. The BRICS Alliance has pushed for more presence and influence in international financial organizations while promoting reforms that take into account the changing nature of the world economy. For instance, they have demanded that emerging economies be given more voting and decision-making authority inside organizations like the IMF and the World Bank. These initiatives are made to make sure that the BRICS nations and other rising economies have their interests and viewpoints properly represented in global financial governance. The BRICS Alliance is dedicated to advancing a fresh approach to economic cooperation that upends established paradigms and supports a more inclusive and equitable global economic order. The BRICS nations support a system of global governance that is more inclusive and representative. The BRICS Alliance understands how crucial it is for member nations to connect with one another on a personal level and engage in cultural exchanges. Enhancing mutual understanding, fortifying social ties, and promoting tourism through youth programs and cultural events are crucial to fostering economic cooperation. The Alliance cultivates a sense of common identity and encourages a deeper level of economic and social integration among member nations through cultivating cultural variety and establishing interpersonal relationships. They stress the value of multilateralism and demand changes be made to international financial organizations like the World Bank and IMF to better reflect the shifting nature of the global economy. The Alliance seeks to make sure that the opinions and interests of developing nations are taken into consideration during international deliberations. The BRICS nations seek to improve the efficacy and credibility of international economic cooperation by advocating for a more fair and equitable global governance framework. 
The BRICS Alliance's support of South-South cooperation is one of its guiding principles. The member nations are aware of the opportunity for cooperation and assistance between emerging nations. They actively engage in exchanging knowledge, best practices, and experiences in fields including social welfare, economic development, and poverty eradication. The BRICS nations aim to promote their shared development objectives and contribute to the welfare of other developing nations by utilizing their combined capabilities and experiences. Is leading the charge to advance a new paradigm of economic cooperation that places an emphasis on South-South cooperation, multilateralism, innovation, inclusive and sustainable development, trade and investment facilitation, and cultural exchanges. The BRICS countries are redefining the landscape of international economic cooperation and encouraging greater cooperation and mutual support among developing countries by opposing conventional models and promoting a more just and inclusive global economic order.